Hey everybody, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. Welcome. Oh, was I not live? Hey everybody, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video. Can you see and hear me okay, I hope? Hey Chris, hi Henry. Um, so I am bringing you guys another live video in keeping with my uh, pledge to myself to try and do one at least once a week. So I know it has been some time since I have, um, oh, okay, thanks Henry. It has been some time since I have brought you guys a sales update. I know I still need to do one for March and April as well. Um, and in a perfect world, hi Purple Lily, I would like to um, bring these sales updates to you every week. And I'm really gonna try and keep with that uh, and doing that and do it uh, once a week. I'm really gonna try. <laughs> because it's just too much to talk about when I wait and try and do everything in one month. It's just too much. So I had some really good sales um, so far this month, and I wanted to come on and share them with you guys. Um, now, I did have, it's like, what is today? May 12th, and I've already had 53 sales on eBay. And the reason why is because I had a bunch of, um, I had a bunch of uh, auctions in on May 1st. So I'm really probably not going to talk about a whole lot of those sales, but if you want to go look, um, I think my link is down in the description box below. And really, I'm just going to talk about some of the bigger and better sales, not so much the smaller ones. So, um, okay, thanks, Chris. <laughs> All right, so let me attempt to screen share. And I, and I feel like I've messed this up because I have, I think I only usually have like two windows open, but I have three open for some reason. And th this is just what happens when you don't do a live show too often. I forget what I'm doing. So, this might turn out to be a complete train wreck and I might have to delete the whole thing. So, um, but here's hoping for the best. So I am going to attempt to share. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys are some um, recent Amazon sales and then I will get into the eBay. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try the screen share thing. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, let's see. Okay, can you guys see that screen share okay? I'm gonna kind of wait till somebody says something. Um, let's see. Okay, well, I'm hoping that you can see the screen share okay. So this is a, um, a PlayStation 1 game. It's called Medieval. And this sold back in April, but it was still a good sell, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, oh, okay, good. Okay, thanks, guys. Let me uh, go over to that screen so I can find it and be talking about it. Okay, so this actually sold for $47.39. And if I remember correctly, I think I picked this up for like a $1, dollar, uh, $2 probably at the most. So I was real excited about that. So the vintage PS1 games can still sell, guys. So might be something to look for. Um, let's see. Let me close that one. Okay, so the next one, I shared with this one on my Facebook, but it was a, um, oops, sorry, you're not supposed to see the names, are you? <laughs> so this only sold for $14.95, but the reason why I wanted to show you guys is because um, I picked this up for, hi, Mr. Sadie. I picked this up for a dollar at the local uh, neighborhood Walmart, and I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to flip items um, if you might have one of those local uh, neighborhood Walmarts in your area. I know that um, I really don't find a whole lot of clearance items at the big Walmarts, but I really find some good stuff at my uh, local neighborhood Walmart. Okay, so the next item is a, um, a textbook. I picked this up for, I think I paid $2 for this. Um, hey Silk Flip, and um, it sold for $45.99. Of course, everything I'm showing you is merchant fulfilled. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I had a whole handful of textbooks I picked up the other day, and um, they all sold like pretty consecutively like over the past four days. So I was happy about that. Um, this next one, oh, okay, oh my gosh, this one just sold this morning. I'm going to make a post about this later. Um, can you guys still see the screen okay, I hope? Let me come over here and see if it's showing up. Okay, it is. Good, good. Okay, now i got to get back to the other screen. Hang on. <laughs> i got too many windows open. Okay, here it is. So you guys, this book here did not have a 
um, the barcode on it, so no ISBN or anything like that. I paid 79 cents for it, and it sold this morning for $49.99. So it just goes to show you, um, you might want to take the time to uh, scan the books that uh, don't have the ISB on them. And when I say scan it, I mean like use that Flow app. So what it does is it just kind of scans the um, picture on the front of the book, the front cover of the book. And sure enough, this came, this came up and it was a good rank and I saw it was selling for good, a good price. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I paid 79 cents, can't get over that. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into some eBay sales. Um, okay, so here we have these little cute little doggy pillows. They are, I guess, Lily Pie Bichon Freeze little dogs. And I paid a dollar for each one of these, so I was in it for two dollars and they sold for $24.99. This is something that I had in my store uh, for a little while. I think I had, had them up for like $50. And I just went nuts around the end of April and sent a ton of stuff to online auction. And um, so this is one of the items that sold. And the reason why I do that, I usually do that like twice a year. And um, I've been doing eBay for a really long time. And I usually, and I've been doing this for a long time. I just I just want to clean up my inventory sometimes and um, blow stuff out and, and get some get some cash in. And actually, whenever I did this on May 1st, I had all those sales in. I made like $800 in one day. So it was a really good, really good day. So I was happy that I just have a whole bunch of other stuff to relist or to donate. I just need to make up my mind what I'm going to do with the other stuff. Can you guys still hear, hear and see okay? I hope. So the next item... This was a DVD set called Stomp, and I bought this for $5, and it sold for $24.99, and it was um, brand new sealed. Okay. So let me come over here. You guys can still see, I hope. You can see okay. Oh, okay, good. Okay, thanks, Chris. <laughs> okay, let me go back to the other screen. Okay. I guess I could close them after I talk about them. Oh, okay, so this one was a really good one. This was um, the Government Mule Holy Haunted House. This one I paid um, three dollars for, and it was going from about from about um, at the time, like maybe a couple months ago, as high as one fifty on Amazon. And I decided I was going to put it on eBay as well, and I did, and I really wasn't getting any bites. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to send it to auction for. I think I started it at. $75, maybe less, I can't remember. Let me look here, just two bids. Yeah, $74.99, so it ended up selling for $78, so I was really happy about that. So that was a good sale, that's kind of a, a little bolo. Um, the next item is a Cincy uh, United States Navy. I picked this up at a garage sale for $5. And it sold on auction for $39.99. And as you can see, I charged like $14.95 uh, for shipping. And that's because these type of things, once you bubble wrap them and put all the tissue paper and everything in them, they become really heavy. And, and even if they're not heavy, two pounds to send somewhere upstate is just ridiculous. The pricing is just ridiculous, especially when it won't fit in a um, flat rate box. So I definitely charge shipping for items like this. The next item is a uh, fly fishing for striped bass book. And I believe I paid two, two or three dollars for this book. And it sold for $24.99 plus $4.95 shipping. I've totally been charging shipping lately. <laughs> Okay, and here are the flip-flops. <laughs> if you guys are my friend on Facebook, you surely know about this. Um, I think I shared it on my Facebook. I also shared it in uh, the reselling group, Third Coast Resellers and Beyond. So it is this vintage pair of uh, 80s flip-flops I picked up. They had no sizing on there. There was no name brand or anything like that. And... Um, I started the auction out because I did some research and I saw that, you know, I figured I'd probably get maybe $30 for them. 
So I started the auction at um, $29.99. And <clears throat> if I didn't say I paid a dollar for them, I can't remember if I said that or not. And so here people just went nuts. I couldn't believe it, right? Silk flips, I know, it's crazy. I was listening to um, Angie, uh, Angie's video earlier, and she, she picked up some flip-flops. She was at a garage sale this morning, and they were only 50 cents. They totally look like the ones here because, as you can see, like, let me show you. Let me go back. Let's see. How do I get back? Oh, gosh, I hope that didn't open a new window. Uh, okay. So if you look here towards the front, you can see, like, the line gets smaller towards the front. And that was kind of a clue. Uh, hey, Michelle, you wore them in the 80s, right? I probably did too. <laughs> but yeah, the, and hers looked like this. They were a green pair and only 50 cents. She, she did not pick them up. I was like, oh my goodness, Angie. So I had to write something down in the comments below. Um, told her, you should have got those flip flops for 50 cents. Oh my goodness, why wouldn't you just take a chance? <laughs> But um, I don't know, maybe she'll go back and get them. We'll see. So yeah, they sold for $111. And um, that was crazy. Just absolutely nuts. Uh, maybe it was a fluke. I don't know. But they they paid and I've already shipped them out. I'm still waiting on feedback though. But um, yeah, I'm hoping for the best. Uh, the next item is a real pretty J. Cruz statement necklace. This necklace I actually found in a jewelry jar. Excuse me, and um, let's see what I started at. Started it at $14.99, and then the final bid was uh, $20. So yeah, I mean, I probably paid maybe a quarter for this, so I was really happy with that So, And here is my little 14 karat gold uh, letter E that I found in the jewelry jar as well. Probably paid about a quarter. and. Um, I just uh, got this probably maybe about two, three weeks ago at the most, and I put it up for on auction for 24. No, actually, I think this was a buy it now. So, and somebody paid the um, 24.99 for it, plus 3.50 shipping. So I was happy, happy, happy. Let's see. And here is a real pr pretty. Let's see what my title says. Vintage mustard yellow bangle. It looks like it could be Bakelite. Um, and I did not say that it was Bakelite in the um, auction title. It is, it's not Bakelite because I tested it and it didn't test for it. But, uh, and I, you know, it's so sad. I cannot even remember where I bought this or what I paid. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> I mean, surely that happens to you guys sometimes too, right? Somebody tell me it does so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> And I know there's no way I paid, I didn't pay more than two or three dollars for this bangle. So I was really happy that it sold for $28. And the next item, this was a really fun auction. I picked these little uh, Monsters Inc. guys up at the thrift store. I paid $2.99 each. And um, okay, good, Silk Flip. I'm good to hear, glad to hear that. <laughs> I'm not the only one. So yeah, paid $2.99 each. So I was in it for about $6 and some tax. And uh, was in my store forever with a buy it now. And um, I put it, um, sent it to online auction and it actually ended up selling for $58.50. Plus $12.70 shipping. I put that in a um, medium flat rate box. I just shipped that this morning. Um, here is another book. Uh, I picked this book up. I think we were at a, um, where were we at? Hang on, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, A Salvation Army uh, up in Houston. Uh, Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, had come down for a Houston meetup um, probably a little over a year ago, maybe a little longer. And we all got together and we hit up some of the thrift stores and some garage sales and stuff. And this is uh, one of the books I picked up uh, while we were out. And it's going on Amazon, I want to say maybe from about 150, but and the sales rank was in the three millions. And um, I just wanted to try and recoup some money. I was ready to get rid of the book. I paid, I think, $1.99 for this book. And it sold at uh, auction for $49. 
and 99 cents with free shipping. I'm just going to close some of these windows. Okay, so this is my last item, you guys. I just picked this super cute little alligator up a couple weeks ago. I paid $5 for him at one of the church-ran thrift stores. And um, the only kind of markings that he had was on the bottom, you can see here, it says made in Japan. But other than that, there were um, no markings uh, on him. I say him, it kind of looks like a girl with those little little sexy little eyes, right? <laughs> but um, so yeah, and I had saw, I think one sold for like maybe, you know, because I did my research, $50. I saw one going on Etsy for maybe 70 something. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to ask a lot because I'm always saying you can't make a lot of money unless you ask for a lot of money. And so um, I put up a crazy number, one $129.99 and it sold. And um, actually, the person who bought it, Alligator, was in their user ID. So um, I'm telling you guys, there is a um, there's somebody out there that wants your item for everything that you have. I'm not even kidding. So and then they paid uh, $17.50 shipping, and um, they took out a lot of fees from this. So I'm not going to be making as much as I was hoping for, but still, it sold for a really good price. Um, are you guys still there? Okay, so, and I wanted to say, I haven't shipped this yet. It just sold uh, late last night, and I have, I do two-day handling, so I'm I'm good to wait till Monday to actually ship it out till Monday, but I'm a little bit nervous about shipping this because, okay, good, thank you. Um, that's Slick Flip. I think I was calling you Silk Flip. Sorry, Slick Flip. <laughs> But thanks for letting me know. Okay, thanks, guys. Okay, Purple Lily, Chris, thank you for letting me know. Um, so, yeah, the last cookie jar I um, shipped, it sold for about $59 or something like that. And I'll be darned if the bottom part of the cookie gar jar did not break. And so that was a real bummer for me. Um, so I'm trying to up my game here when it comes to packaging really good and um, if you guys have any tips for me whenever I ship this cookie jar, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm going to put it in a really big box, and I'm just going to wrap each piece individually. And, um, yeah, hope that hope that it, this little cute little alligator arrives in one piece. Hi, A1, Grana. So let me stop this screen share. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I did it, yay! <laughs> so, um, how has um, y'all sales been? Do you guys uh, run sales on eBay? What are you guys doing lately? Because you know we're coming up on like the slow time of the year for us resellers. So, but yeah, I, I've decided I'm totally changing my uh, business model. I'm gonna be doing a lot more auctions. It's been extremely profitable for me. I feel like a lot of times whenever we do the buy it nows, like for a while there, I was running those challenges um, and posting on my Facebook Facebook page and also on um, Third Coast Resellers, uh, you know, get 10 items listed before bedtime. And that's all fun and everything. And I still do that every now and then. But I feel like I got really wrapped up in the number of listings that I had on eBay. And that's not really what's important. What's really important is, um, you know, it's, it's all about quality, not quantity, right? And so um, instead of just listing a whole bunch of items and for me, sending, sending, sending them off to Never Never Land, which is, you know, a buy it now, <laughs> um, I like to run the auctions, especially if it's been sitting there for a long time. Send that to auction. Um, and if you have to start low, start low. People are going to let you know what your item is worth. So, um, and then if nobody's buying it, even once you slash the price, it might be time to maybe take it to the consignment shop or have a garage sale, you know, and just try and, you know, get your money back so that you can go buy some new inventory and maybe hopefully make even more money and just don't buy those kind of things again. Um, let's see. Henry says, good on sold and working on eBay. Okay, good. Uh, Slick Flip says, my sales have been way up since the beginning of the month. 
haven't changed a thing. No clue why, but it makes me smile. Yeah, that's great. That would make me smile too. Um, and Michelle says that she agrees to keep it moving. Yes, definitely. So, and it keeps me busy. I get excited because I, I'm seeing more money in my bank account. Um, and you know, I still have that airfare to pay for for the reseller rally coming up next month. Um, of course, I've purchased my ticket to the rally, but um, my husband and I we have not purchased our airline tickets yet. So that's something we still have to do, and I'm sure that's probably going to cost about six or seven hundred dollars. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm wheeling and dealing and sending stuff to online auction and having a blast with it. Um, so a purple lily says, I'm glad you said that about listing. I'm the world's worst lister. <laughs> no, I doubt that. I doubt that. And you got to have fun with it, right? Because, um, I know I sound like a broken record, but I've been doing eBay since, uh, 2000. Hi, Dina. And it, for me, it just never gets old. It never gets boring. Um, I just love it. It's my passion. I, it just never gets old. So, um, okay, bye, Slick Flip. Have fun walking your dog. I should go do the same. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my video this morning. But I had talked about uh, going to Waco, Texas. Hey, Angie, how are you? Angie, I was talking about you earlier when I talked about the flip-flops that sold. <laughs> I said you should have picked up those green flip-flops this morning for 50 cents. You should go back and get those. <laughs> if you're not going to sell them, send them to me. I'll sell them. So, um, yeah, so we went to Waco a couple days ago, and we went to the Magnolia Market where um, Chip and Joanna Gaines uh, from HGTV have their, um, their shop out there and everything. Hey, Fran. So, um, and a couple of you guys said that you'd like to see the video of it. So I made a video when we went. Um, hey, Super Sunshine Thrifter. Um, so I made a video whenever we went, and I'm going to be piecing that together uh, later on tonight and um, hopefully publish that sometime this weekend for you guys. Um, Angie says, really? I was thinking everyone would be getting those now. <laughs> I, I would still go get them and try and sell them, but, you, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> I know that, um, I don't know, you know, sometimes you have to take chances. And, hey, Lonnie, how are you? <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. Maybe everybody will be selling them now. But if I see some, I'm totally picking them up. I'm going to sell them. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. So, um, and then I'm totally just rambling now, but I'll just continue rambling. I um, went to Hobby Lobby this morning, and, um, hi, Kathy. <laughs> um, Angie says if she goes back in a month, they will still be there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Send them to me, Angie. I'm going to sell them. I'll pay for you to send them to me, and I'm going to sell them if you happen to go back. <laughs> um Oh yeah, so I went to Hobby Lobby this morning and I got a bunch of stuff to um, do some crafting, but it's related to eBay and Etsy. Well, eBay or Etsy, I guess, or and slash or Etsy. So I'm excited to be bringing you guys that video and then I have another um, repurposing type video coming up. So um, I've got all kinds of video ideas in my head. <laughs> Do you guys get like that sometimes, like um, any of you YouTube content creators? I mean, I, I've got to keep a paper and pencil all the time because little light bulbs just go off in my head all the time. <laughs> so, um, oh, Andy says $100 and I'll send them. Hee, hee, hee. Right? That's so funny. So, yeah. I'm excited. I've got some videos coming out for you guys, and um, I hope that you guys enjoy those video, um, the crafting and repurposing, and I still need to talk about my eBay sales for March and um, April as well. So, okay, good to know. So Lonnie says he keeps a notebook with him. That's good, yes. See, I'm just the opposite. Like, I have, like, Post-it notes everywhere, like, all in my eBay room. So yeah, I need to get a notebook and just put them all in there so I can be organized. I, I lack the ability to be organized very badly. So um, 
Yeah, takes Lonnie says takes me five minutes and it's gone, so I have to write quick. Oh, I know. Like I can get a really great idea in my head, and if if I get a text or the phone rings or one of my kids asks me something, I'm just like, Phew. I just forget it completely. So I use the um, the notes a lot on my phone too. So if I get an idea about something, and say I'm driving, right, and um, I'll just I'll like you know push it and I'll say Siri, make a note of blah 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 blah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm very forgetful, so I have to do that. Um, April Blue says she loves the crafting videos. Good, yay, thank you. I love doing that too. It's so much fun. It's like um, it de stresses me, and I really love it. Um, so, Lonnie is asking Tanya, how much is your booth? Do you do well? Um, Angie says she loves the voice memos too. Yes, I, me too. I cannot live without that. Um, so, Lonnie. I've had my booth now. When I first got my booth, I got one with my grandma. And we had a booth together probably for about maybe about six months. And then um, she decided it was time for, for her to back out. And another booth that was a little bit smaller became available um, in a really good on a really good aisle. And so I took that one and I've been there probably for I don't know, close to two years now. I can never keep up with time. I don't know. Started in 2015. So um yeah, it costs ninety dollars a month, and um, last month I didn't do very good. I think my profit was only like about thirteen dollars, but that was very unusual for me. Usually I do a lot better than that. Um, usually I profit at least a hundred, a hundred and twenty-five per month with it. Um, let's see. April Lily, sa Lily says I should do that, but Siri hates me. <laughs> That's so funny that you say that because while we were out of town in Waco, I was trying to help my mom navigate because she was driving. And my Siri was the British guy because I like the British accents. And she was like, just turn yours off. You know, she didn't even want to listen to that guy. I guess she used to work with a guy that had an accent like that. And so she just doesn't even like to hear that. So I had to change it back to the American girl Siri. Siri. <laughs> um, so Hi, Ariel. She says that she needs to do voice memos. Yes, it's a good way to help remember your ideas. And then Angie says, I actually hate Siri. It's mutual. <laughs> you know what? Siri has been making me so mad this morning. Like this morning, I, I asked her, I said, Siri, how many calories are in a Jack in the Box taco? <laughs> and she, you know what she does? She'll come back and she'll say, this is what I found on the internet. And it just lists a whole, lists a whole bunch of information. I'm like, can you read to me? Just tell me. I want the number of calories. I don't want to know what you found on the internet. You know, and then so like then the next thing I said was I said, Siri, can you please read to me how many calories are in a Jack in the Box taco? But she didn't. <laughs> so um, yeah, Angie says, give me a southern accent any day over a Brit. Yeah. <laughs> hey Chad, how are you? <laughs> this is so fun. Everybody's showing up and I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> so do you guys have any questions for me? But yeah, I was bad this morning. I had two of those tacos from Jack in the Box. But I did get water with it, so that's good. <laughs> At least I didn't get a sugary Coke. Uh, Lonnie says he likes the red accent too. Um... Hey, Kathy. She says, uh, Tanya, I sold a camera and perfume to the same buyer, but my postman said I cannot ship them together. So I already print the label, so what should I do now? Huh, a camera and perfume. Well, that's true because I think when you ship the perfume, you're supposed to put some kind of special stickers on there. But I never do. <laughs> I just wrap it up really good to where you can't really hear anything, you know, moving around so much. And, um, but yeah, I would probably cancel your label. That's easy to do through PayPal, and you'll get a refund probably in about a week or two. I think that's how that works. And um, just ship them separate, and you might even want to take the perfume up to the post office um, with your box and your packing slip and everything so that you can make sure um, with the post, post, postal, post, post guy, whatever they call it, postman, that you're doing it right, right? So they can help you um, prepare that package. Um, um, let's see. Hi, MJ63NY. <laughs> uh, they say, how do you know for certain if something is vintage? You develop an eye for it. Like I said, I've been doing this for a while, and 
um, you kind of de develop an eye for it, really. Uh, and, and just research, really, and watching YouTube videos. Um, Angie says, I'd like to rip it right out of my phone. <laughs> Talking about Siri, that's so funny. <laughs> Um, Chad says Kim has the guy grip. What? Yeah, see, I was just talking about that, Chad. I had the um, the guy, the uh, British guy too, for my Siri, and I went with a trip on a trip with my mom, and she was like, "No, I can't handle that," <laughs> so I had to change it. So yeah. Um, Andy said she'd like the kinetic energy to be my Siri. I don't know what that is. What is that? So. Um, yeah, I've been rambling for a while now, haven't I? I got 26 watchers. Yay! Hey, 26 watchers. So I guess if you guys don't have any questions for me, I'm going to wrap this up and say goodbye. Like I said, I'm hoping next week to, uh, let's see, maybe next Friday, Thursday or Friday, bring you guys a um, another sales update video and let you know some items that sold. Um, let's see, Kathy says, Tanya, we are not allowed to sell the package because too many people scam them. Scam them? Scam them? I think you'll do that. Okay, good, good. Um, Henry says, that GF co-host. I don't know what that means, Henry. Um, Oh, Andy says that um, the kinetic energy, how come I don't know what this kinetic energy business is? <laughs> but Andy says that he's got the greatest accent ever. Oh. <laughs> Lonnie says, Andy, your navigation would be dropping F-bombs on you left and right. That's funny. Oh, my goodness. I feel so bad now. So kinetic energy, that is that... Is that somebody you do a show with, Lonnie? Oh, co-host, co-host. I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. I feel so blonde. Sorry about that. <laughs> I haven't, I don't think I've ever caught a whole episode of y'all's show. And I saw that you did a show just last night, Lonnie. I don't know how I missed it because I definitely would have come in and watched it. So, um, hey, Cincinnati picker. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to have to go check out this kinetic energy person. So um, I'm probably already subscribed to them knowing me. <laughs> I subscribe to everybody. <laughs> um, so yeah. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun hanging out with you guys and sharing some of my cells. And um, let's do this again soon, like next week. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I look forward to talking to you guys next week. So have a happy Friday. Bye.